Not so happy here in Houston. Joining us live with his reaction to NASA's decision is former astronaut, last man to walk on the moon, Gene Cernan. You know, for a lot of folks, Gene, JSC is truly the heart of the space program. Are you among those who thought this was all about politics? Well, I don't think there's any question. You know, this is not just a disappointing decision. It's a disgusting decision. Uh, you know, unfortunately, our president administrator of NASA has uh, probably never made his own decision on anything since he's been in Washington. And, uh, you know, it's either made from above or by those uh, below him. And this is, I think, just another instance in that, such, in, in that particular case. I would think it would be particularly hurtful to folks who given their entire careers to this, and especially the families of those who lost loved ones on shuttle flights. Well, uh, it's, it's not just the shuttle, it's the history of Houston. You know, from the first day, uh, JFK was here at Rice and, and gave that famous, why does, uh, why does Rice, why do we go to the moon? Why does uh, Rice play Texas? I mean, that's when it started here in Houston. That's when it all began. The, the, the roots go so deep in this city, traditionally, uh, spiritually, uh, technologically, with the people who live here, who have worked, who have given their entire life to the space program. To, what, what are we getting? We're getting a, a pilot the co-pilot seat, is that right? You know, you have to wonder also, you, you alluded to this, but for so many people, because there were there were a lot of tears with Charlie Bolden, the administrator, when he made this announcement. It has to be a really bitter pill coming from someone who was a former astronaut. He he lived and he and he trained here, like so many of you. Well, I, I don't know whether you followed his actions in Washington over the last couple of years, but I, I quite frankly, I'm not surprised. Uh, I don't think he made the decision. I think he... Uh, happens to have voiced it for other people, and uh, you can make of that what you'd like. Well, you know, we we hear people talking about trying to get this reversed. Uh, you see any hope of that happening, Gene? You know, it's, uh, I'd, I'd like to you know, I'd like to think it could be, but, you know, you're going to have so many political fights uh, between uh, California and Houston and uh, New York and Houston. And, I, no, I don't think it'll happen. i tell you what, if there's any possibility, I know it, you know, we worked a long time during the Apollo 1 fire to uh, get remnants of uh, of the Apollo 1 spacecraft because it is a memorial to people who gave so much to the space program in those early days. And now Challenger and uh, Columbia are the same thing. You know, if we could at least build something around the remnants of Columbia, I think it uh, it would even have more impact than having one of the uh, flyable shuttles. I think so, too. Gene Cernan, thank you so much for talking with us about this.